Welcome to Desavi Productions. My name is Desavi, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use MIDI controllers in Pro Tools. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the Akai MPK Mini. This is one of the most popular controllers out there. This one in particular is the MK3. Now I'm doing this video in response to viewer Romero Lamar. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, but Romero asks, can you demonstrate how to use a MIDI keyboard in Pro Tools? So we'll cover that today. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments section and I'll respond to you as quickly as possible. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's connect the provided USB cable starting with the B connection, this is a square connection here, to the controller. Next, we'll connect the A end of the cable to the hub that's connected to the computer. Alright, now that we have it connected, we need to make sure that Pro Tools has in fact recognized it and enabled it for us to use. We do that by going to the top where it says Setup, go to MIDI, and select MIDI Input Devices. Now as you can see, the MPK Mini 3 is checked off in green, which means it is in fact enabled. If it is not, it is disabled and you will not be able to use that controller. So make sure that it's checked off in green. Everything looks good here, so let's go ahead and click OK. Now we are ready to use our MIDI controller, so let's go ahead and use it to play a virtual instrument. So let's make an instrument track. Go to the top where it says Track, go to New, and change the track type to Instrument. And I'm going to leave the name as is, that's fine. Create. And let's go ahead and add a plugin to this. So in the inst one, click on the slot, go to plugin, go to instrument, and I'm gonna select massive. So let's see. Let's change let's, let's choose a sound here. A love lead. Okay. Now as you can see, I'm hitting all the keys and the pads, and there is no sound coming out. And that's because record enable has to be enabled for us to hear those sounds. So let's go ahead and enable it right here in the inst, click on it, and now we are ready to hear the sounds. But I'm gonna turn it down because I know it's gonna be loud. So let's turn this down, and let's see what that sounds like. Now you're probably wondering, how do you use the knobs here? And with other software such as Ableton, the MIDI map is already kind of mapped out for you, so it's really easy to just plug and play. But with Pro Tools, that's not necessarily the case. You have to assign it yourself. So even right here, if I, if I move these controls here, it'll only move one. So the way you're going to use it to where, you know, everything is assigned to these controllers here, um, we can right-click it and go to MIDI Learn, and we're going to move the knob so that it then assigns that knob to that particular controller and you're going to have to do that with every single one which is probably not the best thing about Pro Tools but that's how you assign the knobs you just basically right click it MIDI learn and then you assign the knob that you want it to be assigned to Now let's record some MIDI. Now me personally, I like to have a click track or a metronome to follow along to. So I'm going to go to the top where it says track, go to create click track, and this is my metronome. I'm going to turn it down because I know this is going to be loud as well, and I'm going to play it. Okay, that's good. Now I'm also going to turn on the count off because this allows me to come in on time. And now what we're going to do is press the record button and press play. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And stop. So now we have some MIDI information recorded, and the way we're going to edit it is by double clicking on the clip. And this pulls up the MIDI editor. Now, in here, we can edit the MIDI notes by using the tools up here. I'm going to click just outside the box so I can enable all three at the same time. And you can extend it, shorten it, and change the velocity. Now, as you can see, the velocity color changes. The darker, that means the harder the velocity. The lighter, the lighter the velocity. And you can also divide the grid up here at the top right. And you can divide the grid into quarter, eighth notes, quarter notes, 32. So that way you can really dig in here and 
get it really exactly to where you want it to be. And this is how you record your MIDI information with your MIDI controller. If you found this video helpful, subscribing, liking, and commenting helps us reach many more who want to learn about music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.